The number fourth, the fourth item in my protocol is actually medical marijuana, uh, cannabinoids, cannabinoid medicine. I recommend, especially for in all the states where it's legal, including the District of Columbia, that it be used for by all cancer patients. We have research coming from Harvard University and many other places around the world sustaining the use of uh, cannabinoids for the treatment of cancer. Uh, all doctors should be familiar with ma marijuana as a medicine. In uh, 100 years ago, it was one of the most popular medicines. It was backed by the American Medical Association, which resisted it being uh, turned into an illegal drug. There is research across a broad spectrum of pathology showing marijuana as a very effective and very safe medicine. Safety in medicine is a, a very important central issue. Marijuana is certified as the safest. It is the, one of the only substances in the world that has not one registered official case of death from the use of this drug or this use of medicine. We get into the words drugs and medicine and medicinal. We run into some very blurry lines here. Marijuana is both a drug, a recreational drug, and it's a very serious medicine that is as safe as can be. Its effect is very broad. For cancer, it's very specific, being an anti-tumor agent. It's a very powerful anti-inflammatory. So when paired with magnesium, magnesium and marijuana, whether it be smoked or taken orally or put on the body transdermally, um, is incredibly important because it is safe and effective. Medical marijuana is beginning to be used um, for post-traumatic stress syndrome because not only does it have an effect on the physical body, but it also calms people's emotions, resets neurological set points. It is a very powerful and safest anti-pain medicine there is. So uh, my recommendation for e in every state or in any place where it's legal for doctors to pay attention and prescribe it. Cannabinoids have an anti-convulsive effect. They have a hypnotic effect. They have an anti-inflammatory effect. Cannabinoids are neuroprote offer prote neurological protection. Acts as a sedative, helps people sleep, like, ma like magnesium does. So the two used together are very helpful for sleep disorders, which are very important to address because when people don't sleep, they, their body runs down. It is much more difficult to maintain health when one is not sleeping well. And all of the medic pharmaceuticals that are prescribed for sleeping disorders make the situation worse, not better. So it's sedative effect, calming effect, calms the emotions, and literally treats some of the corridors or core aspects of disease.